do. All right, welcome to Duke's RV. I'm Duke, your video host. Today we're going to take a look at a Momentum 410 TH. It's a toy hauler, triple axle toy hauler. Take a look at some of the stuff on the outside, the specs, and we'll take a look at the beautiful floor plan on the inside. Hey, and I'm going to show you the specs, but I'm going to clear up a little controversy. I heard a report from a customer. One of our competitors was claiming to have the best toy hauler. I I could prove I proved to him that they were wrong 100% without any doubt. By the way, here is the gross vehicle weight, 20,000 pounds. Unloaded vehicle weight, 17,066 pounds. So that means you need a one-ton dually for this one. Don't let anybody tell you anything different about that. Uh, there is your propane. So, you know, the customers saying they were told that uh, our competitors claim to having the best toy hauler. And I said, listen, 100%, no question. There's no, there's no controversy. The very best toy hauler in the world is uh, parked up there at the North Pole right now. Santa Claus, man. He's got that sleigh. That is the toy hauler. Don't mess with Santa Claus. We don't do that down here in Texas. I'm Duke at Duke's RV. We don't fool around. All right, so you got your convenience center. You notice everything is conveniently located in the convenience center. Your hot and cold showers, your water filter, your low point drains, your levers for your black and gray tank. They even have your uh, con correction, connection for your satellite and TV. Here is your uh, water heater and electrical connection. So you see the garage is huge got that uh, vapor barrier up there the double welded aluminum studs the high quality construction you would expect from a manufacturer like grand design leading the way all right so we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at some more features out here got the moride kingpin with this uh, uh, this reduces the wear and tear on your rig let's see if it's got a generator here it is 5500 watts is that generator right there and it's got a i think that's a 50 amp mppt solar charge control there's a hydraulics for your slide so santa claus is slate i think it's got like a, a 50,000 watt generator if he decides to use that but uh you know we're not trying to compete with santa claus some of these crazy competitors get some wild ideas I gotta keep it real man Got a TV out here on the campground with your stereo speakers. Put some Ted Nugent over there. Says the thump here. That's a double, that's a fully laminated sidewall. So they've got some information here. It's got the WeatherTech insulation. Uh, it's the 410TH-R. Dash R is the residential fridge. So uh, that insulation, it does have uh, triple insulated floors even in the garage. And then you've got the the CRE 3000 suspension that is uh, you know when you're rolling down the road it's like an earthquake on wheels the way some people describe it and uh, that suspension will reduce wear and tear on your rig a little loud out here we, we've got the forklift drivers working beautiful blue skies man so uh, let's take a look from the back take a look at this right now we have the patio door deployed now you take those cables off it is a ramp so you can load up your toys uh, you, uh santa claus could leave it like that because he could just fly in there but it's no problem uh he's got the elves working but you could put that down there will make it convenient for you uh you can just roll your toys up there your uh, harley davidson your side by sides razors whatever you've got i don't know if i went a little long on the santa claus theme but who doesn't like santa claus all right, you got an awning right there. I'm going to back up. I got busy talking about the magical experience. All right, there's another awning. There's another awning. There's four awnings. That's quattro. Four awnings. That is a lot of awnings. I don't know how many you require, but that is some awning deployment that you could do out at the campground. You will be rocking the place with your stereo speakers. You might have your chairs out here, your dogs running around barking at the neighbors making everybody happy if you got a dog that barks a lot that's very popular at the campground everybody loves that they love to hear barking dogs it's like hitting the jackpot all right you got frameless windows you expect that on a uh, on a luxury fifth wheel like this now this ladder will come away from the uh, wall here so when you climb up it's convenient and uh, see it's got two I think those are 30 gallon gas tanks and they say there's no smoking here so please don't smoke while you're filling up with gas, that won't be 
could lead to bad things. Yeah, see, that's the ladder. It goes up there to the roof. You got prep for your rear camera. I think Santa Claus has a rear camera on his sleigh, so uh, trying to keep up. All right, so here we go. Another one of our employees hard at work right there. There's the exhaust for the generator. So I think it's time to go inside on this magical journey that we've, we're going along. Thanks for tagging along on this uh, exciting, magical journey with Duke. It's not even Christmas, but it's just something that's going on. Check it out. I don't know. I got to check my uh, adjectives. I think that is a quintuple wide sofa. That's five recliners right there. You know, if you have a very skinny, very, very tall friend, they could take a nap right there, no problem. Or you could have everybody with their own recliner. It's a family sofa, whatever you want it to be. All right, you got those beautiful uh, bar stools right there at the bar. You load up the cheeseburgers and french fries, some chips. Got real subway tiles. They're not fooling around with grand design. And they got a pantry for you. You can put your potato chips in there. Shoestring potatoes. Your, what do they call those onion, fried onion things? Those are pretty good too. That you throw on the green bean casserole. All right. So you see it's got the fireplace. That's standard stuff. The microwave. Now this is a residential. Some people don't want you going on about the oven or the stove but that is a residential cooktop it may sound silly to some people but they're silly because they don't understand how if you go camping and you got a residential cooktop you're doing some full-time use feeding the crew you want to have the all the the uh, firepower that you need to get the job done you can fit a turkey in that one it doesn't have to be a small turkey so uh or a large vegetarian casserole but just look at this beautiful looking uh Decor, you've got the huge televator TV right there. You can get some electric heat out of that fireplace if you want to check out these industrial looking hooks here. You can hang keys, you can hang your holster, whatever you've got. Your dog leash. See the stereo speakers. Oh, there's four of them. They used to call that quadraphonic, some beautiful lighting fixtures. There's the loft up there. And uh there's a pantry up here. I'm seven foot three and that's pretty tall. No, I'm, that's pretty tall. I don't know. I have to work on my jokes. Again, if you have any jokes, you could submit them in the comments. I'll use them in my videos. Give me a good joke and I will be happy to include it. Clean stuff. You know, here's an example. Why do tuba players have such shiny front teeth? Check in the next video. No, I'll go ahead and tell you the answer right now because why do tuba players have such shiny front teeth? They use a special tuba toothpaste. All right, so I'm going to insert a uh, rim shot there from the drums. I don't know if I have one of those. I'm not that high tech. All right, so I hope you're getting an idea what this looks like in here. You can tune out my banter. It'll hurt my feelings. Yes, it will. I'm very sensitive. I can dish it out, but I can't take it. That's my problem. So you've got these... Uh, Little areas here you can deploy. You could put some Worcestershire sauce, some soy sauce, all types of spices and things right in there. Uh, spice shakers. I like to mix up a bunch of spices and make my own special blend for cooking. So I can just fire it onto the on into the recipe as I'm cooking. I like to mix up some chili powder, some onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. I don't put salt in there. I salt it separately because I like to salt it to taste. But you could put whatever you want, mix it up, and just fire it in there like uh, was it Emerald Lagasse and say, bam. But you can say something different. You don't want to have to copy him. You can say whatever you want. I thought I was supposed to be showing you an RV. What the heck is going on, Duke? You got to watch out. All right, this is the Twin Cooling Plus. This is a residential fridge. And uh, somebody was giving me a hard time for saying residential too much. Well, I'm dedicating this uh, to them. There's some some uh, winterizing fluid in there. So you've got a generator. You've got solar panels. You've got an inverter. You've got a uh, solar charge controller. You can run that fridge. You don't even have to be plugged in. you you got propane. So that little screen right there, you can control everything from your phone, your lights, your awnings, your 
slides here's your uh, place you plug in your vacuum cleaner hose or you could just uh, flip this thing right here and just sweep right into it flip it back down use the it's the use your toes all right so i think we've covered that i'm going to take a quick look at this garage or in england they call it a garage Elton John would call it a garage by the motorway, I think that's what he said in his song. Alright, so you have those two beds that come down, queen beds. That bottom one is also a couple of benches that you could deploy as a eating area, place to play cards, have a poker game, play Parcheesi, whatever your favorite game is. I'm going to gamble on some Yahtzee, break out the thousand dollar bills. you got a little half bath right here. So that's going to be convenient. And this floor is triple insulated. You can go barefoot in the winter out here. It won't be so bad. Got plenty of windows. Got these things here. You can ventilate it. If you've got some uh, vehicles in here, there's another. You can get a nice little cross ventilation. So it's safe for everybody. And here's the patio. You hang out here. Now, normally you're not going to be surrounded by uh, cement and RVs. It's going to be your favorite lake the woods, the mountains, wherever you want to go. Hey, you only live once, you better go somewhere. Don't, you can sit at home, sit in a, if you want to be safe, just sit in a closet, put a sheet over your head, and you will be, I guess you could be safe. You could still get hit by a, a, a plane or something like that. If there's a plane crash. So just go ahead and get out and enjoy life. That's what I'm saying. I don't know, I, I'm really, I don't know if I could even post this video. I'm just going in all these different directions. But I'm giving you a good look at this beautiful RV. All right, check out this luxury bathroom with the retractable teakwood bench. If you want more uh, footprint area, you've got that, no problem. Four sprayers on the shower head for a luxury sauna experience. Man, you're going to be in living it up. Check this out. Okay, you got a door for the bathroom. Wait a minute. Well, okay, I thought it was a door right here. Never mind. You can just put it over like that for a quick. If you don't want to deploy the sliding door, you want just a little bit of privacy. You're not too worried about it. You just want a little privacy. You swing that over. Otherwise, you can put it here. You do have a pocket door right here. So this will slide over. Just got to unsnap it. There we go. So you got a pocket door. Never mind. That was an innovation that I was coming up with on the fly. And there's a magnet there holding that in place. We're just going to snap that in place again. So here's a view of the, uh, so that's the thing with the toy hauler. Having a comfortable living area is a true luxury because the garage, this is a 13 and a half foot garage. That's 13 and a half feet less RV as far as living space. But they got that quintuple wide sofa, five recliners. And then you have a place to sit down and eat something with those bar stools. Plenty of room in the kitchen. You got pantry space. I think I'd already covered that. I'm backtracking. All right, let's go So do some front tracking. We're going to go into the luxury bedroom here. Voila, check it out. And you've got a king bed on a slide. And there's windows on each side. Give you some uh, natural light. Got a finished out storage area under the bed so they're not fooling around at grand design you know the vents aren't on the floor you got some afghans some greyhounds some some great danes they're not going to be catching their nails their paws in the in the uh, vents on the floor you don't have to step on them in your bare feet catch your own toe in there catch your paw or your maw you don't want to catch anything in there all right so uh we've got this uh multitude of shelves here a plethora i don't know if you could have a plethora of shelves i'm gonna have to work on that but look you could take the shelves out if you want to they're removable and you could put in a stackable washer dryer combo washer dryer you got a couple of drawers here so on each side of that uh section right there you'll have a wardrobe it's the same on that other side too when you slide that door over where you have wardrobe space and a couple of drawers I'll show you that some truth in advertising here there we are it's the same thing all right so I appreciate you tagging along this little magical presentation here on Duke's RV my phone number is listed right there you could just give me a call if you have general comments uh, 
just put them in the comments below questions if you're interested in shopping for an RV you can send me a text and if you want to give a thumbs up if you love Santa Claus a magical thing go ahead and click thumbs up on behalf of Santa Claus so uh, let's see how much y'all love Santa Claus I think he deserves a thumbs up and uh, you know or I could take credit for it too hey thank you very much